Okay, this is exciting. Dr. Gord Lovegrove leads research in both sustainable development and sustainable transport safety, which he says boils down to a basic idea. How do we sustain a desired quality of life, meet current needs without compromising the ability of future generations to do the same? One area that shows great promise and has long interested Dr. Lovegrove is hydrail, or hydrogen-powered railways. We have been researching hydrail and ways to convert our North American railway fleet from dirty, stinking, noisy diesel to clean, green, quiet hydrogen fuel cells for over 10 years. There are many advantages to hydrail, according to Dr. Hofrichter, a pioneer in the field. Railways have a significantly lower environmental footprint than transportation on the roads. Pairing that with hydrogen makes that an even stronger advantage as the energy that is actually being used for this transportation service is zero emission. Dr. Holger Busche, consultant to the German government on rail and environmental issues, says that making the change to a hydrogen fuel transportation system requires just a little imagination. So you have to make your vision how life could be with a train system, safe, quiet, not noisy with cars, um, and clean energy driven, cheap, you don't need an own car, no traffic jams, all that kind of stuff. Lovegrove's vision includes the construction of a hydrogen-fueled electric railway connecting the entire Okanagan Valley. The zero-emission lightweight trains require far less infrastructure than standard trains and could provide a myriad of benefits, from greatly reducing traffic congestion, pollution and deaths, to allowing affordable connection for those who can't or choose not to drive, all at a cost estimated to be far less than further widening Highway 97. We are addressing congestion, pollution, noise, uh, connection, aging in place, health care, socialization. Hydrail technology running the entire length of Highway 97 from the U.S. border up to Kamloops solves so many of our sustainability problems in this valley. Why not? One group that is eager to explore the possibilities is the Penticton Indian Band through their new cool economic development office. I think we're excited about being able to uh, participate in global innovation, leadership in climate change and bringing it to where it's going to make a difference in our neighborhoods and in our communities. With the Hydrail project as a catalyst, the band is now actively seeking to develop new clean industries, such as solar-powered hydrogen production and converting diesel rail to hydrogen power as part of building a sustainable economy. We've been working at a business case for the last five months in terms of cost of production and management and partnership. The groundwork has been laid out very well by Dr. Lovegrove and his team. This is a very exciting project. Um, the majority of the railway system in North America is freight-based. The opportunity that's offered here through UBC and the First Nation partners to decarbonize freight rail has huge potential and a big impact on the overall sustainability goals of society. Dr. Lovegrove says he's excited to see the results of his research sparking such interest. There's an economic incentive, there's a greenhouse gas climate change incentive. If Canada wants to remain competitive, we need solutions, we need to provide clean rail technology, and that's the mandate driving our hydrail research.